Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another episode of Looks Rainbow Podcast. Uh, today's episode is number three, and we're going to be talking about us or you being enough. So you are enough. Um, let's just jump right in. So what do I mean by you or me being enough? Um, we live in a world where um, almost everyone expects a lot from you, from people. Um, <clears throat> and it's not easy sometimes. Um, talk about in a job position, uh, talk about family, um, anything really. Um, some people expect a lot from you. Um, but what I'm saying is, whatever you do, okay, put your heart into it. Give it a hundred, two hundred percent. Give what you have and maybe give what you don't have as well. Okay. Try to do your best. You know, um, make sure that whatever you do, in the end, you can say, you know what? I gave it my best. I did my best. I didn't try my best. I did my best. Okay. So, as, because as long as you do your best, no one should come at you and say, well, this is not right, you didn't do what right, see, this and that. And you go like, you know what? I did my best. So whether it worked or it didn't work, you have to come at the end knowing that you gave it your best. And, and to be honest, that is what we can do. Okay? Sure, we, we do have like limitless um, possibilities out there and we we can do so much you know uh, and at the same time you know like probably a lot of us do so little but we we have the potential to do so much to, to be so much but the thing is that it's not sometimes what's what's not important well, what I'm trying to say, sorry, um, what's important, it might not be the result, but the journey, okay? Um, so, yeah, I mean, everyone would love to get to the end and get exactly what they want, you know, exactly what they wanted, exactly what they asked for. Sometimes it's not... You know, sometimes it doesn't happen, and that's fine. It's okay to come at the end and the results are not what you expected. But as long as you gave your best, as long as you are satisfied with the effort you put in, that's what should matter the most, okay? And sure, you can try again. You can say, like, you know what? Gave my best, didn't work out, but I believe I can still do it. I can I can do better, and you, and you do it again. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. There's there's no problem with that whatsoever. Um, but as long as you you believe that you gave it your best, as long as you come out somewhat satisfied. Even if it doesn't work out, that's fine. Okay? Sorry, I'm just gonna have a sip of tea here. Yeah? So, when other people are not happy with the results you provided, so what do you do? Do you, um, do you accept that as the truth? Do you 
get some more um, you believe in that basically if you take that as, as the ultimate truth then if they say like well you're not good enough do you believe in that do you believe you're not good enough because guess what you are you're more than enough okay that's why there's only one of you okay if you weren't good enough there would be a lot more of you you know what this guy or this girl you know she's not good enough let's make it another one you know see if it improves no there's only there's only one of you okay at least at least in this world there's only one of you so if someone says like you're not good enough or i'm not satisfied with you i'm not happy with you you know it's it's their opinion okay it shouldn't be what you think of yourself what you think of yourself should be i am enough okay as long as you give it your best in it and it could be in anything okay in your job at home with your family with your spouse with your partner um with your friends okay with your colleagues whatever with other people you know on the street um, in commerce whatever when you are shopping whatever give it your best okay as long as you do that then no one can point the finger at you and say like you did you you didn't perform i was like okay so maybe the result wasn't what i wanted or what you wanted but i gave you my best i did my best okay and i gave you my best because i cared about this and so sure the result wasn't as expected but i did my best and in the end you have to take some comfort in it that you gave your best <clears throat> okay so do not come out thinking oh i'm really not good at anything I really suck at this. Doesn't matter. Okay? As long as you give your best, that's all that matters. And if someone actually says that to your face or makes you makes you feel like you're not enough, then you shove it down their faces and say like, hey, I am enough. Whether you agree with that or not, that's not my problem. That is your problem. Those are your thoughts. They're not my thoughts. So do not come to me and try to contaminate my energy, okay, and my way of living. If you don't agree with it, if you don't like it, okay? And that's all you can do. Now, probably some of you or a lot of you might not want to say these things so that you don't upset that person or people but hey it's it's your life you need to protect not only your life your energy and you cannot let um other people tell you what to do in terms of or what how to feel okay i mean sure you've got like bosses and spend managers and all that they will tell you you know to do things sure and you know if you are how shall, I, how shall i put this if you are in terms of like job ranks if you are beneath them then yes you, you have to do those things fair enough and you can do those things but yet have a voice and say like no i did my best you know let me do it again let me do you know what i mean and you do it again if, if you can do it if you're allowed to do it then do it again okay and see what happens and if the result is different if the result is actually much better then you can tell it was like there you go i did it again and this time is a little bit better or this time it actually worked do you know what i mean because like people are too quick to judge they're too quick to make remarks. And 
And so most people, when they were, they were actually they actually shown that they're wrong, or that they were were, were wrong, um, most people will not apologize. Most people they will either frown or make a hmm, sound, you know what I mean, or just go silent. Do you know what I mean? They don't they don't want to admit that you actually did a good job or that they were wrong. But that but that is their problem. If this is not you, you have to be confident that like to to say these things. You have to be confident in yourself. If you're confident in yourself and you can do these things over and over and over, you know, no matter the result. You have to be happy with the effort because you, you you made an effort. What if you didn't make an effort? If you didn't make an effort, then those people's observations of, of yourself, then they're right. I oh, didn't do this properly, you know, like, well, OK, then, because you didn't put in the effort. But because you did. You have to be somewhat proud of yourself and say, like, no, I did my best so it didn't come out the way you wanted or i wanted okay if i can do it again i'll do it again so it's important for people to once and for all realize that they are enough okay you are more than enough like i said there's only one of you okay so it's not like you can delegate things for your other you do okay so as long as you make the effort the result shouldn't matter it's the path that led you to that result what have you learned do you do it again the exact same way or do you change something in order to for the result to be something different probably closer to what you want it, want it to be and other people's opinions of yourself they are a reflection of themselves not you okay you cannot control their thoughts they cannot control yours But if you believe in their words, if you believe, then you're letting them control your, your way of thinking. And I guess that's, that's why there's a lot of people that get really, really down, maybe sometimes depressed because of what other people say about themselves. Okay, maybe you can call that bullying. Maybe. <clears throat> Yeah. So your job, your task should be to protect yourself, protect your energies and say what other people say or think about me is a reflection on themselves. And you have to be well, let's say brave enough to think the best of yourself. Even if you think you're not. Even if you think like, you know what? I'm not that good. But you are. You know what? I'm not enough. You are. And as long as you think that and you say that to yourself over and over and over again, every single day, your brain, even your body, will not know any different. And you will believe and you will act as if you are enough. Because that is the truth. You are enough. And so... Every time someone 
says something that is not nice towards you, if someone has a comment that is not really nice, try not to take it personally. Okay? Maybe that person is somewhat envious or jealous of you. Maybe that person has had a difficult day and needs to lash out and needs to um, you know, release that frustration or anger on something or someone. Even if that person or that thing has got nothing to do with what they just experienced. Right? And that doesn't mean that, oh, I'm, so I'm going to be cold to, towards other people? No. You're not being cold at all. You're actually being, if anything, you, you, you're left with being very polite and accepting of those people. That means you're not, you're not judging them in a way. I mean, sure, I mean, like I said, like, um, maybe these people <clears throat> have a tough day at work, at home, whatever. Or, you know, they've been having tough days for a long, long time. But it's something for, for them to work on. Okay? That doesn't mean you're being, uh, you're being mean to them. You're being cold to them. And if you can, you know, smile, be calm. I, I, I can understand that sometimes it's, it's not feasible to be calm when someone says nasty things about yourself. Or not nasty, probably like less nice things. But we have to try and, and be somewhat understanding. Or what they might be going through. But at the same time, do not get too involved. Okay? So, you are protecting yourself. And if you really believe in yourself, if you really believe that you are enough, you, you get, suddenly you, you get this, I don't know, this powerful aura, energy around you, within you, and you know you get more confident and people notice that and to some people that is that is like a um how should i put it what's the word um a threat to them because you're too confident because you you don't give up because you keep going because you gave your best because you <laughs> are enough you know, and and so there's not much you can do for those people. Okay, you don't have to be cold. You just have to be really confident in yourself and believe that you're modern enough to do anything, anything in life, to be whatever you want to be. Okay, so I'm going to finish this episode. Um, take this with you. Okay, really think about it in whatever part of your life, situation of your life this could apply to. Um, and just really believe that you, you're more than enough. Okay, do your best in anything, with everything. Do your best. That's how we grow. That's how we, we experience things. That's how we learn by doing your best. Okay? And as long as you do your best, um, other things shouldn't matter. Okay? So, I live in peace. Um, I hope you are better today than yesterday. So that tomorrow you can be better than today. Thank you for listening to Looks Plenty Those Podcast. Be well.